All right, Lee, thank you so much. Well, this morning we're shining, shining a spotlight on Miss First Coast Team USA 2024. Akila Pierre, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Well, this is a huge deal. Um, so much happening in and around the First Coast. Tell me all about what your title means and how this is different from other pageants. So my title is a preliminary title to the Miss Florida Teen USA competition in July. And it's just a teen pageant for the Miss USA organization and Miss Universe organization. And this is my first time competing in this system. I've been competing in pageants for a long time. And I've just found that they've been really helpful for me and just a way that I can show myself confidently, not even on stage, but also even here sitting with you and just learning speaking skills is something that's invaluable that pageant series has taught me. When you first entered in your first pageant to now, what have you learned from day one that you even take with you every day? 100% be confident in everything that you do and just stay determined. Everything in life has a purpose and I've just learned to just you know, breathe and just go throughout life, you know? <laughs> Especially when there can only be one winner at the end of the day and then there's a lot of things that may be for you or may not be for you that you just have to wait and see. There's so much happening in and around the pageantry era. Uh, certain uh, women are stepping down, Miss USA stepping down from her title. How do you keep going and the amount of pressure, what happens when, when you have that crown or that sash? I believe it's just to take every moment and just kind of just go with every moment and just kind of slow down. Miss USA and Miss Teen USA are both incredible people and it's such an amazing title, but there's also pressures that come with that and I feel the best way to do that is just to keep your head on straight and just right. to stay steadfast in what you believe in. For me, pageantry has never been something that I feel like has been a burden on me. It's been a choice that I've made to keep going and to keep going, even when there might be moments of, oh, I don't know if I can do this yeah. or I don't know if I'm good enough for that or this moment or my mental health might not be in that position, but to just take time to focus on my mental health and remember why I'm here and what I'm doing is something that I believe just helps me deal with the pressure. <laughs> All right, well, we're taking a look at some of the pictures that uh, you have taken throughout the time. Tell me, what is the most beneficial part about being in a pageant? Because oftentimes people just think it's all about beauty yeah. and presence, but it's more to this, confidence, awareness, and pride. That right there is the <laughs> most important part of pageantry. And it's something that I personally teach my organization girls, the Pretty and Me girls, every time that we meet. Confidence is the main thing that'll get you in the door and it'll keep you staying in the door. And that's something that I make sure to keep engraving in them because yeah. it's something that's so important, not only in pageantry, but also in life. So you started your own organization. Tell me how you came about doing that. After my very first pageant, I noticed there weren't a lot of girls who necessarily looked like me on the national and state um, stage. So I decided, hey, how about I bring some girls from my community and just kind of uplift them into pageantry. And right now we're more of an organization that kind of just builds confidence, even if they don't want to go into pageantry because that's not a requirement. But something that I've found is that a lot of young ladies, especially in the Jacksonville community, don't are missing that confidence, are missing those speaking skills, and are just missing stuff that's so valuable to them that they need to be taught. And I, why not be that person? Yeah. When the little girls come up to you, because myself, I was in pageants too myself, uh, they come up to you, they admire you, they look up to you, uh, not only having your own organization, but what is it? Because you always have to leave a gem with a, a young woman or even a young male uh, to keep them to keep going. I normally tell them to just be themselves. And I know that sounds a little bit cliche, but it's so true, especially in an era where you can literally be anyone who you want, who you who you want, and as well as in an era of social media where we kind of just try to model ourselves after our biggest role model or some celebrity that we love. I just try to remind them to be themselves because quite literally everyone else is taken. <laughs> well, speaking of role models, do you have a specific role model who's in pageantry that you always looked up to? 100% Shayla Montgomery. She was Miss Oregon Teen USA in 2020, and she was just crowned Miss Oregon USA 2024. And she's just someone I look up to because of her confidence and her drive. Shayla is one of the youngest nurses, registered nurses I know, and she's also, you know, works in the pediatric ward. And I just, she's just so confident in who she is and always has been that way. And she's such a kind and genuine woman. Mm -hmm. And I believe that she's one of my biggest role models in pageantry. Well, you are a Jacksonville native too, and you are about to graduate yes. high school. Tell us what school you go to. <laughs> I'm a student at Atlantic Coast High School where I'm a part of NHS, National English Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, <laughs> and I was also crowned Miss Atlantic Coast Sweetheart this past year, but you know, I've given up my crown since then. <laughs> well, that is amazing. Uh, what do you hope that young women and young men too as well take away from you being on the show here today and as you wear your sash with pride? 
that you're never too young to make a genuine change or to take away something that you don't believe in. I'm only 18 years old and when I started my organization I was 15. You're never too young to make a change and make a difference and I feel like in our generation especially as teenagers we believe we have to be a certain age or have to have something or this amount of money or this amount of anything to make a change and to just start benefiting others and you really really don't and I hope to be that role model and that voice to help kids to stand up and make that change. All right so for the young girls who are watching at home who are sitting at their TV saying mommy I want to be a princess, I want to be a queen, I want to be a star. Uh, how do you go about uh, entering in your organization? You can follow me on at I am Akila, Miss Akila, okay. and you can DM me, and I'm also on Facebook at Akila Pryor, and literally you can go from there. The Pretty Me organization is also on Facebook, so just feel free to reach out. All right, Akila, thank you so much, and congratulations again thank on you your so title. Much. Of course, we'll have more First Coast news coming up after this.